Boy, I can already tell this is gonna be fun. Alright, first time making an actual devlog. So- Oh, you're still here? Oh, well, that's great. So, I'm pretty happy that a few people actually played my game since I released that video. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of people, but it was enough for me to keep going. So, thank you to everybody who played it. It, it means the world to me. And sort of make me think that all this effort I'm putting into it is worth it. I have lost all of my files to corruption. And the thing is, I know that the amount of sleep I've lost over this is likely nothing compared to the other solo game developers who actually had to learn to code instead of just using RPG Maker and installing a bunch of bullshit plugins like I've been doing. But it is not fun. It does not matter what game development software you are using. So just be aware of that. So, alright, so, from what little feedback I received, um, I just want to let you know that unlike a certain company who can't count to three, I hear you. First up, the Discord sound effects. Don't worry, I got rid of them. Mostly. I under I added it in for the aesthetic, but I understand that it's probably going to drive everybody crazy the longer that they stay in the game, so... That's perfectly fair. Um, another thing that people talked about was the virtual boys section being probably the most dog shit part of the game. I mean, the whole game is dog shit right now. It's not going to get a whole lot better, but the way I fixed this was it's just a wave battle up till the boss. It's not great, but it'll do for now. I'm just letting y'all know that nothing here is final. I am currently working on the final build right now. I'm just working on a lot of refining and such, like improving the AI and such. But, yeah. Alright, so, another big thing are the weapons and the equipment. I think a big thing that the game suffers from is probably the same thing that a lot of other RPGs suffer from, which is power creeping. Which is, one piece of equipment becomes completely obsolete when you pick up the next one due to the insane stat buff you get when you equip it. So, I've decided to just rework the weapons and equipment entirely. You still get a we weapons every 5 levels and a armor upgrade every 10 levels, but here's the catch. The weapons and the armor no longer give you any stat bonuses. Instead, they completely change up the way your character functions. Like, for example, there's a Viking hat that gets rid of uh, Charles' second action and makes him stronger in exchange for that. I think my favorite upgrade to work on so far is an explosive barrel casing. If you reach 100 tech points, or AGR as I've labeled it in the files, the barrel literally explodes and it deals a shit ton of damage. But the catch is, is that it kills everybody. Or it, the blast hits everybody. And it instantly kills barrel. So, I'm very happy about that rework. In addition to other things that have been reworked, there's also the trinkets. In the build that I sent out to everybody before I announced it, it, there were a total of 20 different trinkets that you could equip. The catch? None of them actually did anything. They, they, I put so little effort into those, I actually want to stab myself in the chest for it, but rest assured, I've taken care of that. The first step to taking care of that was to lower the amount of charms you could purchase. So I decided to cut that down from 20 to 9. Then I was thinking, how could I keep things in line with the aesthetic without, you know, doing something else? Because the game is supposed to be themed off of Discord. And then I remembered that Discord gave me an answer to that um, on April 1st of 2024. So, thanks guys. I appreciate it. Um, not all of the charms are going to be good, but... You can have the solace of knowing they actually fucking do something, okay? You get your money's worth. Except, I... No, I don't think you do, because I think I made them free. Like, okay, in the current test of the build of the game, everything is... Most of the items are, like, free. But that'll change in the final build. Speaking of other things that have changed, um, let's talk about the enemies. Most of them were just damage sponges who... Required you to just use a lot of cheap tactics. Uh, don't worry, I've fixed that. Every enemy functions very differently now. 
Um, the most unique enemy that I've worked on is one I've called a ghost dog. It's going to be replaced with a lobster. And the catch is with this is there are enemies that, you know, can't really die. They come back after a couple of turns unless everybody else is dead. And I was thinking, what if we took that to the next level by making an enemy that can't get hurt unless every other enemy is dead? So th I added that in. If you attempt to attack it, it will heal every other enemy by 25% of the damage that you dealt. So I think that's pretty good. I still have to rework a lot of other things, but I'm just letting y'all know that I'm putting my heart and soul into this, okay? This is not about money. I would like to have money. If you would like to give me money, I would very much appreciate that, but it's not my primary goal. My primary goal is to give y'all a fun game to play, you know, just kill off around two hours. So I guess I can go ahead and I'll talk about price. I'm not giving you, I'm not going to make y'all pay any more than a dollar and 25 cents for it once the full game releases. It's free right now, but it's been an experience for sure. And, you know, I hope putting my all into this is going to be worth it. Link to play the game is in the description, by the way, and uh, thank you if you uh, actually watched all of this. I really can't get my thoughts together, so have a good one.